Greetings, everyone. Today, I wanted to read an excerpt from the, the book Top Secret by Dr. Jacqueline Lawrence. She is a friend of mine, and she wrote about the end time biblical tribulation period. And I know some people have read the book of Revelation, but some people have not. And I am a believer, and it's my job to help spread the good news. And some may not see the tribulation as being good news. A lot of people avoid that book because um, they're fearful. And because it is not, in their eyes, positive. But for me, I've always loved the book of Revelation. And I see beyond the tribulation to where there is an end to all of this negative energy that is going through this world right now. It's a time of paradise when... Everything will change, and the world will be a place where we would live in peace and harmony, and all the violence, and all the hunger, and all of the things that um, from day to day keep us depressed and sad and angry they won't exist anymore according to the Bible. So a lot of people don't believe in the Bible or a higher power, but I do. And even when I hear things that people say about their dis or unbelief, I hang on to my faith and my belief because I have to hold on to something and I firmly believe in my heart there is going to be a time of change and I'm not going to sugarcoat and say that oh you know yeah everything's negative I mean positive and everything's going to get better and this this that as of now I couldn't honestly say I don't know but I do know in the Bible it describes a time like we've come upon, and I know there's been wars, I know that there have been a lot of things that have happened in the world that would seem like we were headed in the direction of revelation. And a lot of people have lost faith because uh, even in the Bible, uh, at, that at the time that is spoken of when people were looking for the end and thinking it was coming, it didn't come. So us believers have still been holding on and waiting for this time. And a lot of people even say, oh, you know, it's not going to come in this lifetime. Well, I don't know when it's going to come, but I will be glad when it's over. Because, again, I'm looking forward to the paradise portion of the book of Revelation. And I'm a firm believer you have to hold on to something, so... That's what I cherish the most. So I'm going to share this with you and um, just do my best to share what's in my heart. And just for the record, the Bible says that we don't know the time, we don't know the hour that he would come back. But whether we know the time or hour, we're supposed to have our souls right, our spirits right. And to me, people make that more complicated than it has to be because the Bible in simplicity to me is just saying that we need to work on ourselves every day, how we treat people, how we treat ourselves 
how we view this life that we were given and it just expresses if I could explain it in a way that I love my children and my family is the way that the Bible expresses that God loves his creation so when I look at the Bible I see it in a way as and especially looking at the way this world is now he wants what's best for us and when you truly serve him it changes you it changes your heart it changes your mind it changes your direction it builds your faith and you begin to kind of step out of this world and look back from a distance and you really realize what the world is without God because he said it even in the Bible that he is not the God of this age. So you have to think, okay, who is the God of this age? And clearly, I think right about now, we know. So with all that said, basically, if he is not the God of the world and we know who is the God of the world, all that negative energy circulating, that's where that's coming from. So at some point, I hope to go on and actually read the book of Revelation and try to break it down on a level that people can really understand it. Not, I'm not a scholar or anything like that, but I think that, you know, trying to read through it a lot of times, people kind of, you know, the, the fear part, I don't, I don't really want people to look in fear. I want people to look and I want to hopefully get people to look at what's beyond the tribulation. So... I'm going to get to reading now, and um, thank you. I know I'm long-winded at times, but thank you for putting up with me. Okay, so I found what I thought it really caught my attention in this book. Okay, so again, it's Top Secret by Jacqueline Lawrence, and it's on um, Amazon if you want to purchase it. I'm just now going through it. I've had it for a few months. It's been sitting here. But I opened it up, and I'm like just amazed she, uh, what kind of writer she is. She's amazing. Okay. So, let's start here. Can you hear him? I hope that you can hear him. I hope that you're his sheep, the land of milk and honey. I pray you'll someday reap. I hope that you can hear him. I'm checking out your fruit. I'm thinking that he knows you, but sometimes I get fooled. Do you know his secrets? His deep and hidden things? When he speaks his words unto you, does it make your spirit sing? It's not enough to hear his words. You must be a doer too. For merely hearing without doing is not maturing you. Do you belong to the Father? Is he the ruler of your life? Even in your darkest hour, can you still see his light? If you can't hear when he speaks to you, ask him to clean your ears so you may know his mysteries and walk in faith, not fear. Amen. Thanks for watching.